Hello, hello, it's Kitty, your thought organizer and, uh, and declutter specialist, coming to you from uh, picturesque, well, yeah, um, Atlanta, Canada for now, where it, it was a very nice sunny day about 10 minutes ago, and now it's all clouded over. Oh, well, that's life on the East Coast. Yes, Sue, uh, welcome to, hello, thank you for joining. Oh, God bless you, Michael. Um, uh, he, you definitely one of my whys. Um, yeah, um, welcome to day 446 of our Facebook Live, started way back in March, 2020, uh, in an effort to reach out to my fellow ADHDers at that time and any clients, anybody who was, uh, shall we say, perplexed by COVID. And uh, here we are with Omicron variant and uh, it just keeps going. Hmm? But that's okay. We are all adapting and doing quite well. Thank you very much. Um, hey, life, life goes on. All right, who am I? Uh, Kitty uh, Andrews with DeclutterTheBrain.com and what do I do? I help, uh, I help people to declutter their space and organize their thoughts so they get more of what, uh, more of what matters done. Now hear me here. It's not a matter of productivity for productivity's sake. Frankly, that doesn't really matter. You can get a whole lot of busy work done and still be, frankly, not that much further ahead at the end of the day. But if you get, uh, say for example, you have set yourself a project, even if it's just a tiny project, and you get that done, oh my God, the feeling of momentum, the feeling of dopamine, the feeling of, wow, yes. As opposed to, well, yeah, I got uh, this, oh my, <laughs> the kitchen counter kind of needs another wipe again. Hmm. Michael, it's time for us to get back on our calls. Actually, I have been doing a, I have been, I have been cleaning my kitchen counter. Uh, uh, so, um, I do believe the physical clutter and lack of focus and concentration are very closely related. So I have developed a step-by-step -step plan, which has enabled me and my clients to clear years of clutter without getting completely overwhelmed by the process. Now, does that sound good? Do you want to finally see the forest for the trees? Maybe uh, get rid of this clutter, get some clarity in your head. Um, I'll tell you what, hold that thought, and we will, uh, towards the end of the video, we'll give you your next step to take. Hmm? All right, uh, Declutter the Brain Facebook group just welcomed its uh, newest 300, no, 300, 154th member and um, we have uh, this this group has a common goal and that is to clear the clutter and mental baggage that turns into brain fog that weighs us down that slows us down so with weekend we've got weekend warrior mini challenges special guests and monthly workshops next one is january 7th we minimize our overwhelm and maximize our productivity so come and join us won't you uh, the link is down below and now if we the um this is new content this week and it's going to be new content next week as well and the week after yeah michael you got something to look forward to uh um we this week we are talking about holiday post-holiday decluttering holiday decluttering whatever you want to call it and i wanted to look at it uh, people People will say, "Oh God, I really don't think I can face it." Or, "Wow, let me let me at it." And and there really there are two schools of thought. But it starts on uh, round about Christmas Day, okay? And so we're going to start right at the beginning. Uh, Monday we talked about a family that I used to work for out west, and they would just say, "Kitty, we can't even face it. Just come in." fix it, fix our place, make it beautiful again, okay, because we, we're in total overwhelm, we don't even know where to start. And this was twice a week. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I have had a cough 
for <coughs> quite a while. So right after Christmas Day, here's the, here's the diagnosis on this. Um, right at, you can you can leave your your clutter around uh, for for Christmas Day. Hey, come on, you know, you want to mentally relive the excitement of opening the gifts, of having, of having the cat spew catnip all over the place. Yes, you do. Or not. Um, anyway, don't leave it for more than one day. Boxing Day, here's what you want to do. You want to remove the obvious, <coughs> <coughs> remove the obvious trash. And then here's a neat, <coughs> excuse me, and I don't have my water with me. <coughs> what you want to do, <coughs> excuse me, is <coughs> have a um, have a have a basket like a laundry basket and call it a this doesn't belong here basket, um, and you just do a quick spin around your main living area, <coughs> and uh, you're you if you have a family. You're going to be picking up socks. You're going to be picking up dishes. You're going to be picking up uh, the coffee, <coughs> the long since empty coffee cup, the <coughs> the orange peels, whatever. I've seen it all. Believe me, I'm sure I have. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I may have to do this. <coughs> um, anyway. <coughs> Okay, I have to do it. I have to grab my water. It's right here. Sorry. <coughs> well, I've never done that before. First time for everything. Um, thank you for your patience, and that did, that did help. Okay, so what you want to do is just return them to their homes. Return the socks to the to the uh, washing machine, return the dishes to the kitchen. Now, what, where your, your rabbit hole is going to be is you're going to be tempted to, oh, well, I'll just start a load of laundry or I'll just do these dishes. No, stop, don't, okay, because you're going to go down that rabbit hole. Your only mission, should you choose to accept it, is to just round up all that clutter, <coughs> excuse me, and put it where it belongs. <coughs> now, yesterday... Um, Witten talked about, oh God, the gifts that you're never going to use. All right. I am not a fan of regifting. Um, I didn't even know what regifting was until a few years ago. Uh, until somebody gave me something and I'm like, hmm. Um, and turns out it had been given to that person. Well, you know, I don't feel very special with you giving me something that <clears throat> Frankly, your discard. I don't feel comfortable <coughs> <coughs> with that. Put in the comments below whether you're watching live like Michael is or on replay what you think about um, about being re-gifted. Right? I don't feel good about it at all. I'd rather you gave me nothing, frankly. I really would, but that's just me. So, um... Uh, your choice, but you you have a couple of options. <coughs> if you have received a gift that you don't like, either make arrangements to return it, contact the person who gave it to you, uh, and ask for the receipt if they haven't given it to you. <coughs> they might get their nose out of joint. What are you going to do? Um, I had a woman who gave me gave me pantyhose one year, and no, she wasn't you know a funny kind of girl. Um, why? And they were two sizes too short. You know, just don't. Um, anyway, you can either return them or re-gift them right away. Give them away, preferably donate them. All right, as far as I'm concerned, once, um, actually one of our group members, she used to say, once the gift has left your hands, it is in the, the person who gets it, it's up to them what to say. That was Aubrey, remember Michael? All right, so, <clears throat> okay, 
and like I say, preferably donate. Now today, fun in the kitchen. Yes, it is possible to have fun in the kitchen. Um, and I've done this, and this actually can be fun. Purge those plastic containers. You know the, uh, the cupboard that you have that's got plastic containers falling out at you? All right. Guaranteed, there are a number of lids that don't that you know, the containers that don't have lids, or vice versa, uh, or they're cracked, they're leaking. All right, go and have a look, and you are just going to laugh. You're going to start to laugh and go, "Oh my mg, how did this? How did this happen?" Um, another thing you can do is to uh, eat that food that's in the freezer. You've got, you know what I'm talking about, uh, the leftovers that, they've been there since September, okay, and they're in the plastic containers and they're perfectly good. Well, start the year off fresh and have, get rid of, get rid of that food, okay. It's fun, you don't have to cook for Christmas week, how nice is that, and uh, it gets, it gets rid of it, makes way for new foods to have new, new nourishment. Go, just have a look through your freezer, give it an inventory, eat the old stuff. All right, and here's something funny that's personal experience for me, is toss the old candy in the cupboards. I even wrote here, LOL. Um, I'm, I went through a cupboard here and I was horrified. I saw some old uh, coconut marshmallows that, oh boy, Okay, I think they were two and a half years old. Yeah, they were hard as rock. Um, found something else too, so I think some gummy bears or something like that. And yeah, so uh, they have been relegated to the trash, but this is the kind of funny stuff that you can find in the kitchen. And that's why I say fun in the kitchen, all right? So you're just gonna laugh. Uh, a friend of mine, he, just, he said he was doing it with his daughters years ago, decluttering, and he says, uh, the daughter, she was four years old, and she said, we found some Rice Krispies that were a hundred years old. I'll never forget that. Uh, anyway, all right, so if you have enjoyed this video, <laughs> um, please share it. Not because I asked you to, but you know what? There's a big world out there with a lot of people who, you know, maybe they need a lift. Uh, in their day, so just just hit the share button. Uh, YouTube, we are uh, on YouTube at Declutter the Brain, and why do I mention this? Because I have a hard time scrolling. My eyes just don't go boo woo woo. Okay, just don't, just don't handle it very well. So uh, you go to YouTube. You want to see something specific that I have done. Uh, it's all cataloged, labeled, numbered, organized, so you can find exactly what you need when you need it. Yes, I'm a big fan of instant gratification, and if you are too, go to YouTube, Declutter the Brain. Uh, what else do I want to tell you? I'm juggling a water bottle here. Uh, do I need the glasses? No, I don't need the glasses. All right. Um, my clients, remember I told you about my step-by-step -step system to clear the clutter without without getting overwhelmed? I tell you what, my clients come to me with no energy, or have come to me with no energy. They're overwhelmed. They're getting nagged at. Uh, they don't even want to go home at the end of the day because they know all, all of the mess that's there, but they're, they just don't know where to start. If this sounds a little bit too familiar, maybe you just want to feel at peace in your surroundings, and maybe you're just ready to stop that bah, 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 in your head because don't forget uh, physical clutter and mental clutter are very closely closely related let's jump on a 30 minute if you're ready to stop all of this uh, and then let's jump on a 30 minute um, conquer the clutter, clutter call and I will gift you with a plan to, and you will see immediate chaos clearing results and um, we can see if you'd go further faster. Now a caveat is I am looking for people who take action, who are serious, who aren't afraid to invest in their future, who are not tire kickers. All right, I want you to be serious if we're gonna get on a call. All right, just like Michael was, Pam was. All right, so tilt, um, click the link below. Tomorrow, 
we talk about sad rags or glad rags. All right, till 11 Eastern tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.